Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the comparators and the converters. Comparator compare the two voltages. Comparator is basically an open loop op amp. Output of this op amp may be either plus VSAT or minus VSAT depending upon the input what we are providing. V reference is given as a 1 volt to the inverting terminal of the operating operational amplifier. V in is applied to the non-inverting terminal to the op amp. Whenever V in is less than V reference, output is a minus V saturation. And when V in is greater than V reference, output of the op amp will be plus V saturation. D1 and D2 are used to protect operational amplifier from excessive vein. R is used to limit the current and basically this circuit acts as a A to D converter. Zero crossing detector is also called as sine wave to square wave converter. Open loop op amp can be called as a zero crossing detector when V reference is given as a zero volts. Easy method to test the operating amplifier is give an input to the any input terminal either inverting or non-inverting after giving a supply output should be a square wave. So in this example input is given to the inverting or non-inverting inverting terminal output is a square wave. For low frequency signal, output may not switch because of noise. V0 may fluctuate. Solution is to use a positive feedback which is called as a schema trigger. We use a positive feedback. V0 changes every time when input exceeds certain voltage levels called as VUT, VLT. Output changes whenever the input exceed certain voltage levels. Schema trigger can be defined as it is a regenerative comparator. It is a bistable circuit in which the output swings between the two steady state voltages high and low. There are two types of circuits are they one is a inverting and there is a non-inverting schema trigger which converts irregular shape waveform into a square or pulse wave. VUT is a upper threshold voltage and VLT is a lower threshold voltage. VUT and VLT are obtained by the R1 and R2 resistor. Voltage across R1 VUT when V0 is a plus V saturation and voltage across R1 is a VLT when V0 equal to minus V saturation. VLT is given by R1 by R1 plus R2 into minus V saturation and VUT is given by R1 by R1 plus R2 into plus V saturation. Schema trigger equation just now you have seen and the hysteresis which give the information output when will be the plus Vsat, when it will go to the minus Vsat and VUT, VLT in the input. This is a hysteresis voltage VUT minus VLT. VUT VLT is greater than noise voltage then there is no false output transition. The hysteresis voltage is given by V reference equal to the difference between VUT and VLT. If an input is given is a triangular wave output will become a square wave what you get and if an input is a sawtooth output will be the pulse waveform. If an input is a in between VUT and VLT a small voltage given as an input to the schema trigger. Most of the students they do this mistake in the lab exam and they may not get an output. It's very important to remember always input what you give to the schema trigger should be more than VUT and VLT. Schema trigger exhibit a hysteresis, a dead zone, band condition. Remember VLT, VUT, this is a dead zone. Above this voltage if you give then only the 
of amp output will move from plus vsat to minus vsat minus vsat to plus vsat otherwise either will be plus vsat one line you will get in the cro either may be minus vsat only single line will be there in the cro when you are doing the lab experiment you are supposed to remember that input should be given more compared to the vut and vlt while conducting the experiment you are supposed to remember this observe the output by decreasing the and increasing the input amplitude observe the output waveform by varying the offset knob button observe the output by varying the plus vcc minus ve observe the output by varying the r wind as well as r2 value remember you are conducting the experiment to understand the concept not just to show the output to the lab in charge schema trigger v hysteresis is given by vut minus vlt let us take one simplest example r1 is a 100 ohm r2 is a 56 kilo ohm v in is given as a 1 volt supply is a plus or minus 15 volt determine the vut and vlt simply fill the values of r1 r2 in the given equation and plus and minus we settle be how much 14 volts you will get a vut and vlt as a 25 volt and minus 25 milli volts respectively if we need a different utp and ldp i mean to say utp is a 2 volt ldp is a minus 3 volt how to design think about this what changes you have to make in the circuit many students say when such questions are given in the lab exam it is out of syllabus use your common sense and try to write the circuit pause the video here and try to write down the circuit this is a circuit diagram simply use a two diodes in the feedback path da and db whenever the op amp output is a plus visa da is conducting da through ra current will flow and whenever we have a output as a minus visa the time current will flow through the db and rb through r1 even you can design for a non inverting schema trigger also instead of giving a vi to the inverting terminal now we are giving it to the non inverting terminal of the op amp and this is a equation design equation vut vlt is given by v not into r1 by rf even sometimes they may ask a different vut vlt the time the concept will remain same use a two diodes and instead of both rf you can use r2 and r3 summary what we have discussed so far you have discussed comparator zero crossing detector schema trigger inverting as well as non inverting and how to design if a utp and ldp are different references are ramakant gaikwad for more information you can visit these links thanks for watching this video share this video if you like subscribe this channel thank you